What is going on, my guys? So, yesterday I, I, I wanted to go to Danny's because I am looking for a new car, and we'll get into that right now. But I ended up walking away with a uh, Colin and Black badge, and it's just this is a demo from really Rolls Royce, not even Danny's demo. This is Rolls Royce's demo. So, I just want to go over uh, a few things that are new in this car, and then we'll talk about the new car. How about that? So, number one, this is a black batch colonnade so that means top of the line and this is something weird that Rolls Royce did because they normally come out with these cars at the end of cycle of a car like they did on the Ghost they didn't come out with it right away when they came out with it so I'm going to show you a few of the differences that make this a black batch and obviously the wheels that's number one but let's talk about the engine this has 600 horsepower which is 40 horsepower more than the regular one and you definitely can feel it on the freeway it's actually quite fast I'm amazed at how fast this car is number two something that I was requesting from day one that they said it was going to take two years and they weren't even talking about the black batch you have a starlight inside of this beautiful beautiful damn car number three the detailing that goes into the leather obviously all of the accents so people are not going to have to go nuts configuring a car getting all these crazy details they're basically all going to come with those the next one carbon fiber they have so much carbon fiber everywhere and this is that weave that I always wanted in my ghost that they said was going to never pass emissions here and uh, safety well it somehow did it in this and also in the new ghost black badges <laughs> that's my luck obviously obviously and the last detail in this beauty is when you're driving it it's a much tighter car than the regular one but not enough to make you feel like you're driving a heavy car it still feels like a cloud design by Rolls Royce and it's just so so beautiful this one that I got loaned is the four-seater configuration so you have that partition in the middle and obviously the window back there on the back uh, you can adjust your seats right there man th this is honestly the most beautiful car I've ever driven and the amazing thing about these cars and the real uh, of it which I, I I thought Rolls Royce was not really doing the right thing because it doesn't make any sense. This is a Phantom 8. This is the same chassis as a Phantom 8. The $600,000 car that they make and they're selling it to you for $420,000. Either way, I'm going to return the car to Danny and uh, let's talk about cars in a second. So, see you there. It somewhat feels like it's been 30 years since I last uh, was talking to the camera and it was this morning because I went and picked up so many cars. One of the reasons before I get to the car that I'm buying and what I want to get and all that stuff is I just want to tell you guys because there's a lot of confusion as to like what's happening what are you doing why are you not posting so much number one it's been a while i understand i haven't been consistent with this but i have i have a billion jobs i have a million things to do and i wanted to not finish them but i wanted to be done or, or make a plan as to like how exactly i can bang out more videos and be consistent again and do this as much as i was doing it before because i really enjoy doing this i really love cars and i really enjoy having this back and forth with you guys because i learn every single day from you guys and I learn every single day doing this and there's nothing I like more than learning and I think that's something that we should all like and appreciate and always whenever you see something that changes your mind because new information is available you should always take it so that that's one of my favorite parts of what I do here and especially again learning from what people say but either way I don't want to bore you anymore here's the thing we're gonna make a lot more videos we're gonna start doing a little bit of everything again and uh, let's get into the car because that that will answer a bunch of questions and a bunch of uh, what ifs or what's going on so Oh, as you guys know, my Senna burnt down. Uh, I sold my cars. I wanted to go. I want to go green uh, or electric and all that stuff. And I want to talk about a little bit about electric cars and like really give you guys a good explanation as to like where the future is going with everything that we're seeing because it it, it embodies a lot more than just uh, oh electric cars are better than this. Oh gas cars. Why don't you do a hydrogen car? It's it's like a big topic. So we'll do another video that's going to be separate. For now is I got rid of all my cars. I've been very happy lately, like so happy and just realize that you know the more cars that I have it's not the happier that I get and that's a message that I wanted to pass on although I really miss my nice fancy fucking car I'm not gonna deny that I miss my Senna and here's the thing I'm gonna stop all that negativity that I had with McLaren I don't care about how everything went down I don't care about any of that shit I'm just gonna not even gonna mention it anymore I'm in such a good place right now I want to get back into what I love and what I love is fucking McLaren sadly <laughs> if you will <laughs> So I want to get another McLaren. I'm going to buy another Senna or a P1. Now, why haven't I gotten the car already? Because I saw the trend of the economy going downhill, and especially in articles of value. If you guys want to learn how to recognize when the economy is taking a shit, and I learned this from a really good friend of mine that is super, super wealthy. He told me, Ale, check every six months with plane companies and with 
yacht companies. And if those guys are telling you business has slowed down tremendously, then go into the 50, 60 million dollar houses and ask, how are those sales going? And if they slow down tremendously going to the 20 million dollar houses, and then you're gonna start seeing it in the two or three million dollar cars. If everything starts to slow down, which we're seeing, I just went to an auction where a, a P1 sold for a million and fifty thousand dollars with less than a thousand miles. And it was a gorgeous, gorgeous spec. We're seeing the dip. It's definitely happening right now. And also the economy in the United States has been stale for a while. We haven't gotten hit like everywhere else in the world, thank God, yet. But the reality is we only had a great last year because Trump gave us, President Trump gave us some amazing tax breaks. And those and those tax breaks are the ones that were showing profit still from companies that were flatlined already. So just knowing all of that, you know, a little bit of everything put me in that position of, okay, here comes another dip. It's not going to be an insane dip because for the first time ever, investors are holding on to their money, right? Instead of like, I don't know what happened. Now investors are savvy because they learned from 2008, 2010, there's a lot more information than before. So now everybody kind of expects what's going to happen next and they're going to buy a lot. What does that mean? That means that there's a lot of people that stayed liquid, that have their cash. They just pulled that out, out of their options. They pull out of, out of their market, knowing that the market was going to take the shit that it's taking right now. And they're staying cash. And those people are soon going to start picking up deals, which means the market's not going to hit that crazy 50% cut. I think it's going to be an all around 25 to 35% if we're going absolutely crazy in these articles. We're seeing it with, McL with McLaren Senna right now. When I bought mine, I had to pay half a million dollars over. And right now, there's cars going for under sticker, right? So this is a reality. And to me, the dip of the market is going to be March. And the reason why it's going to be March is because right now, December's coming up and people are going to buy and do whatever they can to get a present out there. So the people that are holding their cash are like, you know what? I'm just going to give myself this one. I'm going to buy my wife this. They're buying something. Markets like going a little bit up and then it's going to have the dip of January, which is completely dead. dead. And then February is going to be the holy shit. January is completely dead. And March is going to be the end of that, the bottom of that. Even if it's not the bottom around March, I don't think it's going to go more than 5% lesser than that. What does that mean? That means I get to buy something, enjoy it way more than I would uh, without worrying about any anything like oh my god it's gonna burn down like at that point i've already enjoyed the car so if anything happens the price is gonna be right uh, uh it, it it makes a lot more sense than just buying like an idiot i want to have a crazy car and just keep my promises to everything that i was saying but i don't know why i feel like just because i don't have a senna i don't have a p1 a lot of people here are like oh my god these motherfuckers are like irrelevant now if that's the case if you think so my dude, absolutely enjoy yourself. I have no problem with that. I completely understand. But I'm just waiting for the right time to buy the car that I want. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of it. And hopefully I can buy a spec that's going to be absolutely insane compared to the one that I had. Because I spent so much more money then than what I need to spend right now to buy an insane spec. Like right now I can get an all carbon fiber car for what I paid for mine and still have like $200,000 more in my pocket. So I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to the future and to everything that's coming. I'm definitely going to buy a McLaren. I was going to buy something in between now and then but i talked to danny i talked to evan i talked to a bunch of people and they told me dude why would you buy something between now and then you're gonna lose 50 100 000 in quick three months and they're totally right i'm just a I need to do what I've been doing all this time and be disciplined. And it's helped me tremendously that I've had to work so much. A lot of you guys don't know, but we came out with our alcohol brand in Mexico. It's a mezcal, which is a kind of tequila. The CBD stuff, the THC stuff that's opening the doors in Mexico. A lot of opportunities. Balenciaga clothing lines blowing up. So it's been a majorly, majorly amazing year in a business sense. It's been a terrible year as far as creating goes for me. But uh, I'm getting back to it. I love it. I adore it. It's what I fucking strive for this is the shit that i love doing this is the stuff that i i stopped filmmaking and fell in love with and this is what i want to do for the i'm not going to say the rest of my life but i want to do for a long time I, as long as i'm feeling the way i feel right now so that's what's happening in the world those are the cars that i'm looking at getting right now and also if anything else comes out by the way the sf90 the ferrari that's out of the question for me i'm not very interested in that car anymore after i saw it why it, it doesn't have the lines it's not that sexy looking i i bet it's going to be an incredible exercise of technology but in person it didn't do anything for me so senna p1 Oh, the 918 still, oh, but we'll see what happens. But I'm on that right now. I uh, just wanted to let you 
uh, guys know about that. And I'll be just playing with cars right now. We just want to get to know the market. I want to know exactly what's out there. I want to compare the cars because I haven't had a time to play with cars in a very long time. So I want to play with as many cars as I can because I'm like a kid inside. So I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to make sure that Sergio enjoys himself too at the same time because I want to show him what I've learned making these videos. I want him to see it with his own eyes, touch it, feel it, and understand it. So I think it's gonna be a great journey. There's so much stuff coming up with Pato Racing for McLaren too, which by the way, in Indy, McLaren, Pato. Yes, guys, especially after the year you had in Formula One. So there's so much shit to be excited about. And uh, I hope I don't disappoint you guys. There's a lot of videos coming up right now. We just got a lot of cars. We got a Supra M2, Porsche, a 718, Audi S5, and uh, what am I missing now? Whatever, something else that uh, we just got and we're, we're we're gonna make some videos with. So I hope you guys enjoy all the content that's coming up. I hope uh, uh, I get the Senna or the P1 of my dreams this time around. And also, fingers crossed that it won't burn down. <laughs> I love you guys. Take care and see you soon.